The Miami Open is showcasing its first wheelchair tennis invitational, and it started today. CBS Sports Miami's Trish Christakis was at the matches and shares these athletes' stories. It's not something you've seen before at the Miami Open, and star wheelchair tennis player Didi De Groot is hoping fans will soon see more of it. We put in so much work, and it really is important for people to see that and and don't see the wheelchairs almost. Of course, they're there, and we need them, but um, hopefully, they can see past it and see that we're athletes. De Groot is the current number one in both singles and doubles for wheelchair tennis, and a 39-time major champion, a sport that changed her life. Looking back at it, it gave me a chance to, to enjoy um, being active in a way that maybe playing regular sports wouldn't give me because I would always have a disadvantage. Alfie Hewitt has been playing wheelchair tennis since he was eight years old. Okay. It helped his mental health as a kid and hopes to inspire young kids watching today. Disabled person out there who might come along to the grounds for the day of tennis and see wheelchair tennis, that, that could be the moment where they decide that they want to pick up the sport um, and, and get started playing and you know, the rest can be history. Fans I spoke to today were moved. Wow, so impressive. It, you're more of an athlete. It makes you no less. It makes you so much more of an athlete. Something the director of the event, Shingo Kuneda, a four time Paralympic gold medalist and winner of 28 major titles, was hoping fans would witness while at the Miami Open. In Miami Gardens, Trish Krasaka, CBS News, Miami. Wow. They're amazing athletes. Definitely. Yeah. We'll see. We'll be right back.